This weekend, I am taking a short drive out of Portland to the Columbia River Gorge. My plan is to visit a few waterfalls, take in a couple of short hikes, and visit a few of the many wineries that are located in the gorge. We drove over the Bridge of the Gods to Skamania Lodge. The location of this lodge makes it a perfect place to explore the region. The last time I was here, I found Martin's Gorge Tours, a local guide that offers a variety of tours. That's true, Terry Lynn. We um, do scenic drives, guided hikes, wineries, breweries, distilleries, and just about everything in between. There's a lot of toys in the playground. And I know tonight we're, uh, you're picking some people up, a big group of like 23 people, and taking them to the Mount Hood Railroad. That's right. Which we have been on that train several times. It's really fun. So, you know, the gorge is a great place to go wine tasting. And that's what we're going to do today. We're starting at Skamania Lodge in Stevenson, Washington. And uh, we're going to hit about six wineries. The Columbia Gorge is a unique wine growing region offering over 40 varietals. It's <laughs> truly a, a journey of discovery for people's palates. On this tour, we will be able to meet some of the winemakers themselves. Also, again, we're driving through a national scenic area to access these places. So. There's eye candy and beauty surrounding every turn. I love it. I love it. And I, you know, I know a lot of people come out here to see the, the nature, like you were saying, and the waterfalls. And um, we have visited bon Bonneville Dam, which I drove past that for years and um, didn't understand why to go to a dam. And I love the dam. It's, mm -hmm. I mean, be, being able to see the fish going through the ladders and through the glass and, and just to be out there. Lots of places to picnic. I'm excited. Let's go do the tour. All right. I'm ready for busy. wine. Let's make it happen. <laughs> We left Skamania Lodge and made our way to Syncline Winery. As we approached the tasting room, the first thing I noticed was a large outdoor fire pit. So we are at our first stop on our winery tour in the Columbia Gorge. We're in Lyle, Washington, and we're in your tasting room at Syncline Winery. And so we produce uh, three whites. We make a Picpoul, Grenache Blanc, and Gruner Veltliner. You both are drinking Gruner Veltliner right now. Now, is this the wine that you're um, producing uh, in the egg? We put a little bit of Gruner, I think, in the egg, and also um, the Picpoul and Grenache Blanc, they uh, see from their fermentation cycle in the egg. Next is Subduction Red. This is really our rendition of a Southern Rhone blend. Um, so if you think about the blends coming from that area, they tend to be um, a triage, Grenache, Syrah, Morbed. Really interesting varietals that kind of bring various mm. complexities. So it's for delicious. example- It's <laughs> lovely. Yeah. I really like your fire pit outside. Yeah, <laughs> it's really special and warm and lovely. We're pouring the Pinot Noir at the end, which might seem kind of unusual. Pinot Noir is a more delicate varietal, um, which oftentimes oh. is poured earlier on in the uh, lineup. So these grapes are grown at a 1,200-foot elevation site. Very different um, from the Pinot Noir that you see in the Willamette Valley. I'm sure that you're familiar mm -hmm. with those Pinots. But really here, um, our Pinot is going to be much more reflective of what you'd see in a German Pinot coming mm. from the Moselle region. So actually, I'm not usually a Pinot drinker, and I think this is my favorite one. Yeah. Yeah, but so this is a concrete fermentation tank. Obviously, it's shaped like an egg, and you can see we have square vessels as well. For the egg, it's a little bit different of a process. It is a neutral vessel, so pretty much all of the oak that we use is neutral as well. It's anywhere from three to seven years old. We do use a little bit of new oak in our whites. The concrete vessel, excuse me, um, is a really old style. Um, it's kind of regaining popularity right now, but yeah, these vessels have been used for fermentation and aging in the old world um, for, you know, for many, many years and are kind of just now surfacing and, and becoming more popular in, in the new world. Just up the road from Syncline Winery is Domaine Pouillon, the next stop on our wine tour. Hello, welcome to Domaine Pouillon. Thank you. Doing today? I'm great. I'm on a wine tour and you're my second stop. Awesome. Well, let's get you some wine. Nice. I uh, really liked being greeted by the chickens. Oh, good. Yeah, <laughs> friendly. <laughs> And yeah, we have some sheep as well. We are uh, biodynamic here. Oh. So we actually let the sheep and the chickens kind of graze in the vineyard and help reintroduce some nitrogen to the soil, which is wow. interesting. Wow, I love that idea. Start you off, this is our Savon Faire. This is a Grenache Blanc, Marsan, and Picpoul blend. 
Nice. Rome style blend. And I noticed you have disc golf um, frisbees behind you. So. Yeah, another fun summertime activity. The, uh, the people come out and they bring their disc golf and their kids. And wow. You get a glass of wine and a little disc golf map and we send you on your way. And you, out and we have nine holes here. Wow. So play it twice. How fun. It usually takes about a bottle of wine to get through the depression. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> and you probably play better when you have wine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just guessing. This wine here you're drinking is an Edelsvicker. This is mm. the Noble Blend. Wow, that's this nice. Is Alsatian Blend. This is Pinot Gris, Gewürztraminer, and Riesling. Oh, that's lovely. I've been to the Alsace in France. Yeah? I've, I've hiked through those vineyards and had a picnic. And how does this compare? That's very nice. <laughs> I say it compares very well. Great. Well, you have a very nice tasting room, and I'm thank you for the niblets. Of course. Uh, I love anything that has chocolate in it. <laughs> oh, this chocolate's dangerous. <laughs> this is 100% Gewürztraminer. And I'm tasting with Kyle, who's <laughs> kind enough to be pouring for us. Of course. That is really good. It's not uh, it's not sweet like not a Gewürztraminer that right. I would think, because, you know, really thick and... This is our Rhone-style blend, Grenache Syrah Marvedra from 2012 McKinley Springs Vineyard. So this is a, tr uh, a true portrait of what we try to mm. do here, which is our Rhone style varietals. We try to focus on the Rhone style and as well on the old world uh, winemaking style. So wow. this is something that Alexis learned to make when he was over in Chateau Neuf de Pop. You know, this is kind of the wine that they make there. Mm. And then he oh. it there. Wow, wow. <laughs> so he brought it over here and tried to replicate in his own way wow. with grapes from this area to do the same That's thing. That's so cool. Yeah. It's like going to France. Yeah. <laughs> in little, Lyle, Washington. A slice of France over here in Lyle. <laughs> I love it. That's great. And this one here is our Pierre from 2012, named after Alexis's father, Pierre. Oh. <laughs> is he French? He is. So yes, Alexis is a first generation American. His father is from France. His mother is from Austria. Fantastic. Yeah. I loved it. Great. We continued east on Highway 14 towards Goldendale to visit Waving Tree Vineyards that sits just below Stonehenge. This winery has 35 acres of vineyards and sells over half of their grapes to other winemakers in the gorge. I love this little location. You're surrounded by a lot of farms that do fruit by Goldendale and we're on the Washington side, just down from uh, the Mary Hill Museum. And look at all the wine you're making. <laughs> little Nebbiolo. Okay. Oh, that's very nice. Nebbiolo is uh, the same as Barolo and Barbaresco from Italy. Oh. That's the grape that it's made of. Oh, it's very nice. I already like it. I haven't even tried it yet. Yeah. Uh, that's what I like. You could walk away with several bottles of wine from here. So you guys are producing some Italian wines? Yes, we are. So Sangiovese is easy to grow. Um, Barbera and Nebbiolo take a long growing season. Mm. and We pick them into November often. And because of our climate here, we're able to do that and, and produce an impressive barbaric. There's a lot of European wines being produced in this gorge. Really, we do a lot of kind of the Rhone, French Rhone Valley wines, and then we do the Italian wines. Nice. And then my dad basically held us under his thumb and said, <laughs> I'm going to make wine, we're making a cap. <laughs> so we have a cap. Yeah. <laughs> so are you, you actually produce all the wines in, in this building? Yes. Wow. And people, it looks like people can come and sit and have a little picnic inside here. Mm -hmm. Is sure. that true? Sure. When we first started, my yeah. sister and I picked all the grapes and it took us two hours. What age was that when you started picking grapes, when he started when making you do that? We started in 2001. Wow. And so my sister and I were both done with college, basically. And then we started small, then planted it a little bit more all the time. Evan does our wine club. Okay. And helps me with everything in the winery. And then I'm the winemaker. Wow, and very so, nice. Uh, I would say that if you come in here and you don't find a wine that you like, then, then I don't know. Maybe you're not a wine drinker because <laughs> the variety is very nice. And the location's fun. You're about 45 minutes out of Hood River. Well, cheers, you guys, to Thank continued you. success. And, Thank you. And you can, you can taste the family in the wine, Good. as if you guys love doing this. <laughs> Our next three wineries were located in and around the town of Hood River. Aniche Cellars has a tasting room downtown, and I was excited to meet a female winemaker who is also a book author. I have been so excited to come and talk to you because you're actually a winemaker. Yes, oh yes. Which is kind of rare, I think, in, in the industry for female winemakers. Is that correct? It's correct. Mm -hmm. About less than 10% of uh, head winemakers 
in the United States are, are female. All of our wines are literary references. Some are the names of um, a poem or a line, a refrain from a poem. Some are the characters. We have a wine called Atticus that's uh, part of our wine club release, and obviously that's Atticus Finch. Um, another thing that um, people might have told you is that we do primarily blends. Oh, so, I love blends. Uh, we do European style wines. So we try to, um, we do European style wines for girl palettes. <laughs> so um, we keep the alcohol low, we try to keep the tan nice. a little bit low, and we try to keep the acid a little bit higher. So they're food-friendly wines. This wine that you have right now is called Three Witches, and that references Macbeth, the Three Witches of Macbeth, which is appropriate for three women winemakers. And uh, But that is a mm. Cinso Cunois nice. Morvedre blend. What I've noticed uh, being in the gorge, both on both the Oregon and the Washington side, is there are a lot of people making European wine styles out yes. here. It's kind of like going to little Italy or France. Or <laughs> yeah, we, we pride ourselves on that. There are winemakers who are, it, it's, they're ahead of the curve, um, not making these huge fruit bomb wines. They're making elegant wines. I'm so proud to be a part of a, a, quite a clutch of wineries now who are doing blends who are keeping them mellow and approachable and definitely food oriented. I like this, it's very approachable, very yeah. very smooth and uh, very, very easy to drink this one. Yeah, it is, it is. So I, Ooh, I, started, nice. I started making wine because I was using wine as my muse when I would be writing and um, while I was mm. pursuing the great American novel, which is elusive and kind of a lofty dream, I, I started drinking wine and I got really interested mm. in wine. That's and less lovely. so in writing. And so it's sort of an homage oh, to, it's that's not great. to great writers. Wow, well, you're talented Thanks. in many ways, I see. Thanks. Cheers to you and success. Thank and you. I do believe you'll write that novel because Thank look you. what you've done so far with yeah, yourself. Well, I have actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's coming out um, very, very soon. We're was that the title that you said to me? What is the um, title? No, my, my title is A Tainted Finish. Oh. oh. So I went from <laughs> writing the great American novel to a um, to cozy uh, mystery novels that just are meant to be fluff, but it, it's about the wine industry. and my. Oh. My oh. heroine is, a, is, a, um, my is a, a winemaker as well. Oh, that is so creative. Just outside of Hood River is Cathedral Ridge Winery, and I was given a special tasting in their library room. And I feel very privileged because we're in what you call your library. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we are a, uh, a big Reds winery. Most of them, in fact, are award-winning wines. All right. So this is our 2013 Cab Franc. The nose on the oh, absolutely intoxicating. Oh, wow. <laughs> See, I don't even need to drink this one. I already know. Mm. All the stuff. Mm. Yeah. Oh, mm. Mm. love this one. Warm you up a little bit. Yeah, I might good. have to take off my coat. And I'm wearing my coat because we're, this has to, this library room and where you store wine in barrels has to be kept at a certain temperature. Yeah, about 55. Yeah. Next up is our 2012 Syrah. And as you might know, the Columbia Gorge is known for temperate rainforest to high desert in 40 miles. And so it's just wow. a really drastic um, geographic and climate change. And we have all these little mesoclimates that can create or can support this kind of fruit. Wow. And that's the wonderful thing is that you're getting French, Italian, Spanish varietals wow. all through this area. So we can play. We're not set in right. you know, Pinot Noir. And that's right. That's what we do. We can right. do so many different things. It's so pretty to be out in the gorge. I mean, mm -hmm. year round, you it know. It is. It is. Double mountain views, stunning. It's like paradise. Nice. Yeah. I mean, even today, which is a cloud, you know, there's some clouds moving through, but uh, the beautiful shots, you know, that we took of the mountains and the clouds moving and... And your tasting room is really beautiful. I know we're not standing in your yeah. tasting room because we're in the special library. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, and our winemaker, our master winemaker is Michael Sebastiani. And he's the, Ooh. you know, fourth generation mm. Sebastiani family from Sonoma, California. Um, and he is brilliant with blends. He just, wow. he is magic with blends. Um, so we get quality grapes from quality small vineyards. We work with the local farmers and we have been, you know, from the beginning. All right, I have here our 2014 Banks and Syrah. Oh my. We typically age, and this is up to the winemaker, we'll do anything from um, 10 months for our, some of our Chardonnays uh, to even up to 36 months for some of the reserves. Wow. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Jocelyn. That was a real so pleasure. I'm so glad you dressed in wine color. I have to because look, I've already been dripping <laughs> this all over me. <laughs> the last stop on our wine tour is at Hood Crest Winery, which is perfect as they add homemade pizza. And I am getting hungry. 
You guys are the winemakers. This is your whole deal. Mm -hmm. And you're actually a female winemaker. I am. I'm one of the only few uh, women winemakers in the Gorge. I think that's really cool. Thanks. I love it. Yeah. And uh, we do uh, everything from crush to bottle here. We're known for our big reds, which we get out east. We're also really known for our pizzas. We do handmade uh, pizzas um, mm -hmm. and we do a lot of farm to table. We also uh, reduce balsamic vinegar and uh, bottle it and sell it, and also Northern California olive oil, and those are really popular. We grow Team. the Chardonnay and the Pinot Noir here, and we also grow some Cab and Barbera for our blends. And then from Waving Tree, we get our Cab, our Sangiovese, and our Grenache. And Petite and Syrah, Petite Syrah. And our Cabernet Sauvignon. I think it's really awesome that you guys all kind of work together, right? You can spend a lot of time wine tasting in the gorge. Mm -hmm. It's best if you go on a tour and that you don't have to think about. That's right. And uh, Martin's been great. He's, oh, he's a wealth of knowledge. I think he's been around here for a really long time. <laughs> he's one of the nicest guys. Uh, when people do tours with him, all they do is talk about how great it is. And which one is this? Cabernet Sauvignon. Ah, this is the grapes from the Waving Tree people they we are. met. Nice. Yeah, goes great with this pizza. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> you guys are my new best friends because I love a thin crust, flat Ooh, pizza. Is... And oh my goodness, it smells wonderful. This is Serrano ham and manchego cheese with our house-made marinara, some fresh mozzarella, and this one's a plain cheese pizza. So it mm. has our homemade marinara and our cheese. All right. Patrick. Mmm. 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 Oh, it's really good. Thank you. It's just as good as the wine. <laughs> wow. I love that you guys are using all your ingredients from your own garden. Um, we are. We your do own as garden. much farm to table as we possibly can. Mmm. Wow. It makes a difference. We grow the basil and the Italian herbs and the tomatoes and the onions and the garlic. And so besides, you know, making wine and balsamic and oil, <laughs> everything you guys are making here, including the pizzas, which is such a grand idea, you also have music, and that's what we're listening to. We do. You're listening to uh, one of our CDs, our current release, and it's called uh, Do What You Want. Nice. And um, I wrote the song when I was really upset. and <laughs> That's how it happens. Really good. <laughs> nice. And you got on the cover of this Oregon wine oh. press. That's okay, he's allowed to brag about that. You, cover girl. Yes, she, <laughs> you, and you guys have been together for a very long time. As Since long as 1986. Us. Yeah, well, congratulations to that. You Thanks, too. You Continued guys. success, really. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. I had such a lovely time on Martin's Gorge Tours doing a wine tasting. We hit about six wineries on the Oregon and the Washington side of the Columbia River. And uh, I'm at Skimania Lodge on the upper level. It's packed here, lots of families having fun, and I'm adjacent to the library that they have for their guests. Getting caught up on the Columbia Gorge with my little friend Biscuit. It is pet friendly at Skamania Lodge, and that's it. That's the end of our wine segment. Yay.